What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and we are here today for an update video which is very rare for this channel just because I don't really like doing them to be honest and uh, I'm pretty bad at it so uh, I'm gonna give it a go here just because I feel like you guys should be updated on some of the things that have been happening um, in my life and then uh, some things that are gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks that will change the upload schedule just a little bit so I feel like you guys should be in the know about that kind of stuff um, but I, I just don't really talk about my private life too much but I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight today uh, so we're going to be playing some uh, Pokemon showdown here obviously uh, while I just talk about random stuff so uh, I'm not going to be narrating the match and all that so if you don't want to listen to that and just want to watch the the game feel free to mute me and we're going to be uh, taking the team that I built during the team building guide video um, onto the UU ladder because why not I kind of uh, want to use it some people wanted to see it in action so you'll at least get to see one battle with it here um, if you want the analysis for the team and how it was built and the reasoning and all that stuff you can uh, go check out that video I'll try to remember to put that uh, in the description below but it was like a week or two ago that I released that video so you should be able to find it on my channel uh, if I do forget to link that because that seems to be something I do a lot I say I'm gonna put something in the description and I forget about it and people have to remind me because I uh, forget these things I guess that's part of the problem when you uh, record videos sometimes three four weeks in advance uh, you get to the actual uploading part and then you forget what you were supposed to put in the description anyway uh, so I've had a lot of things going on in my life that um, I haven't really shared with you guys just because I try to keep my private life private because most of the time you're watching videos on YouTube because you want to escape the stresses of your daily life. You don't want to hear about other people's problems. You want to watch Pokemon or you want to watch uh, cooking or you want to watch a sport video or a funny cat video or whatever it is. Uh, you don't listen to somebody ramble about um, random things that are going on in their lives. So I try to uh, stay away from that as much as possible, but today I'm going to give you some insight. So uh, basically, where do I even start with all this stuff? I guess it started all the way back in uh, January. I was on vacation um, in Pennsylvania, which is my home state. For those of you that don't know, I do live in Texas now. Um, hopefully not for long because I hate Texas, but <laughs> that's a different story. I was visiting family uh, back home for the holidays. My girlfriend was with me and uh, she is where she was about to enter her last semester of college which is uh, this semester obviously and we found out that while we were there that she was not going to be eligible to receive financial aid anymore which really stinks uh, and the reasoning behind it was that she was over hours or over the amount of attempted hours that were allowed uh, just because she was working towards multiple degree plans at once um, and nobody advised her against doing that and then it came back to bite her and it's our last semester so uh, We found out we were gonna have to pay for all the expenses of tuition and books and all that other stuff That they make you pay for um, out of our own pocket And I was like well that kind of stinks because I wish I would have known that before otherwise I wouldn't have uh, Made the trip to visit family. I would have saved extra money for that um, and you know you know, cut back on Christmas stuff, maybe? I don't know. But, you know, it kind of sucks when you get blindsided by uh, things that are going to cost almost $10,000. That's kind of a lot. Um, so not only that, but we get back um, from Pennsylvania in, I think, the second week of January or whatever it was. And uh, she she's in the medical field, by the way. So she's right now interning at uh, a hospital. So she went back to uh, work slash school slash interning after... You know, we got back and everything, and a couple of days into it, I find out that she uh, was going to be hospitalized because she fainted during uh, assisting a surgery. And of course, our insurance didn't cover um, all of it, so I was like, oh great, so now we have to spend even more stuff. Um, so I was kind of freaking out about it. We ended up filing an appeal uh, with financial aid, so we were going to get that covered. But unfortunately, we still haven't received any word back on that. So I don't know if we just lose that money altogether or how that's going to play out. Um, but it's caused some problems for us financially. And basically, why I'm telling you this story is because recently, in the last month or two, uh, several of you have been donating. If you noticed, I did put a donation link in the description below. I haven't mentioned it at all. I didn't really talk about it, uh, but a few of you did notice and uh, donate. And 
I just wanted to take a moment here, or several moments, more like five minutes, uh, and thank you guys, because before this point, we had been kind of like trucking along and it's been fine, but it finally did catch up to us this month, and um, you know, it, we've been hurting a little bit. And it's not the end of the world or anything, but every little bit counts. So the fact that you guys were donating and the money that I got via donations this past month actually uh, allowed me to finish getting my cat vaccinated because uh, he was due for some more shots. I think rabies and I don't know what else it was. The, whatever the general feline one was, I don't know. I, I just remember seeing the little slip, but anyway, uh, we were going to delay that because we weren't going to have the money to uh, pay for all of our adult things like rent and food, electricity, phone bill, all that nonsense. So, oh, geez, I just got critted. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. But, uh, yeah, so that extra money actually did pay for my kitty to uh, get vaccinated on time. So those of you that did donate, you made quite a difference in my life and the life of a little little uh, kitty who makes an appearance in a lot of videos by jumping on things, making obscenely loud noises. Um, so yeah, I just thought that was really cool, and I wanted to let you guys know that it really did touch me. Um, I'm pretty sure that soon we're going to be getting out of this financial uh, thing because she's going to be graduating this coming month, and uh, we'll hopefully be able to get back on our feet a little bit, and uh, that'll be that. So yeah, I just I didn't talk about it because I just didn't feel like it was really necessary to uh, go on and on and on about all this stuff that's been happening, and you know, it just feels like boohoo me. For whatever reason, I know a lot of you guys don't think of it that way, but that's just how I see it. Um, but I'm telling you now, so <laughs> so that is that. Um, what else did I want to say? Um, yeah, I guess at, at this point, since I already mentioned the donation thing, the link is always in the description. If those of you, uh, if there are any of you that would like to donate to the channel or whatever, um, you can look at that down in the description below. Um, I don't really know what else to say about that. I do try to give out uh, special shout outs and things to people who do contribute in that way because it is extra special, but there's also a lot of you that don't donate or don't have the money to or just don't believe in that or whatever uh, that have been supporting this channel forever with comments and likes and just your general support. Uh, and that's helpful as well because a lot of new people are finding the channel because of all that support that you guys show. So. Uh, and not only that, but we've built a very awesome community here uh, just for that very reason. So you guys are all awesome, basically. So uh, that's that. Now on to the less sappy part of it. And that is that uh, because my girlfriend will be graduating from college um, in the coming weeks, I think May 16th is her graduation. So yeah, that's in like two weeks, two and a half weeks, something along those lines. I just noticed I still have thunder on this Rotom. Like, I noticed that after I um, was editing the video for the team building guide and I never went back and changed it, so we have a Thunder Rotom. Okay then, um, back to what I was talking about. She's graduating um, on May 16th, I believe, so her um, family is going to be coming to stay with us to participate in the celebratory activities afterwards. Uh, so they want to be present at her graduation and they're going to stay with us, I think, for a week and a half or so maybe two weeks. I'm not really sure what the dates are for all that, but since we're going to have more people in our little apartment here, um, it's going to be difficult for me to record. And so I'm going to do what I did similarly to that sentence didn't make sense. I'm going to take a similar approach to when I was away um, over the holidays and I, I bulk recorded like a hundred videos or something. Uh, over the course of three or four weeks so that I could continue double uploads before I left for vacation and then at least one video a day while I was gone for 35 days or whatever it was. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm not going to leave you guys without content. I just, I don't believe in that um, unless something drastic happens. So uh, I'm going to do my best to get a whole bunch of stuff pre-recorded. So uh, as a result of that, I will be trying to take a lot of Wi-Fi battles I'm going to try to record a bunch of showdown stuff, and uh, when I get back from, it's not even a vacation, I'm not going anywhere, but um, when all of that is over and everything is returning to normal, 
Uh, I'm going to be getting into more competitive things uh, on the channel and kind of making it a full scale competitive thing going on. I, want, I really want to do some more strats videos and stuff, but we had all the LPs on the channel before that kind of sucked a lot of my time away, which was fine because I really had a great time with them. But uh, I, yeah, I would like to do some more strats videos. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for those and I do want to deliver them. So that Draco Meteor, oh my goodness, I just I just have to say, that did 82% to a fortress. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, this fortress is dead. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? I'm getting distracted. I'm, I'm getting distracted. Cuts that berry explosion, jeez. Okay, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I was talking about, um, whatchamacallit? I, I can't think straight now. I was talking about the strats videos. There we go. Oh my gosh, I had like a 60 second brain fart there. Uh, yeah, I want to be doing more of those. So uh, you can plan for those towards the end of May slash early June. And um, once we do that for a while, I think I will introduce another LP eventually because I don't want to just completely get rid of those, even if they aren't nearly as popular. Uh, I still like doing them. So I'm gonna do them. Uh, basically, I think where I'm at on that is that uh, the next one is going to be a Nuzlocke of some sort because I've never done one on the channel. And uh, some people have asked if I could do one like that. So I uh, plan on giving it a try. I can nickname all of our uh, Pokemon after subscribers and uh, hopefully I won't kill all of you because <laughs> then I'll feel bad. Uh, so that's, that's basically the plan. I don't really know what else I wanted to say so I think that's it as far as the actual update. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, if you don't, uh, the description is er, the description is the place where you can find the link to that. Um, I will announce all of these things. Um, I'll give you guys an update on the dates when we're going to have less uploads and um, any LPs that I may be working on, strats videos. I do ask for suggestions over there. I take my battles over there. So if you'd like to get into a Wi-Fi battle with me, uh, that's where I ask for them. And uh, that's that's pretty much that. I feel like I've done a lot of self-promotion in this video, and I don't know how I feel about that. But that's it for the that part. And I don't think I have anything else I want to update you guys with. So uh, I guess I'll just commentate the rest of this battle. Turns out that this is a combine Espeon, and he's at plus two. I'm pretty sure an extreme speed is going to do just enough to take him out. Um, I could have gone into Rotom to outspeed him because I am Scarfed, Volt Switch out to uh, Dragalge, sack it, and then go into Lucario to Extreme Speed to ensure the KO, because this might be a roll right here. Um, but I don't need Lucario for anything. Actually, that doesn't kill. Uh, and he opts to not kill me, goes for the Morning Sun. So I did 50% to him, and he recovered 50% back. I still don't know what his item is, either. He's not Lefties, and he's not Life Orb, right? He didn't show Life Orb when he attacked me. I don't think he did. So, I don't know what's going on here, and that was the min-max right there! We did 50% on the first E-Speed and had 56 the next time, that's a bit ridiculous. I mean, I was just hoping he was going to kill me so I could go into Rotom and then Volt Switch, and uh, if he went into Chestnut, I could then sack Dragalge and go back into um, Rotom and Overheat, or I could go into Gligar because he can't kill me. I can Roost on it, I can Toxic it, I can do all kinds of fun things. Um, and then I can save Vaporeon to uh, be able to take on, uh, to take a hit from the Aerodactyl or to take on the Machamp because I am physically defensive. But uh, I am going to switch here. I'll go into Dragalge now and sack it as he opts to go for the Leech Seed. As we saw from earlier on, if you were actually watching the battle and not just listening to my nonsense, um, he, yeah, he just likes to Leech Seed and go for uh, Spiky Shield, which is strange because, like, I already showed toxic and he still decided to go for spiky shield so uh, I'm not sure he might try to do that again here but spiky shield I'm pretty sure only saves you from um, attacking moves it's like similar to king shield in that way pretty sure I'm just gonna click toxic here because I'm not too afraid of you he's probably just gonna leech seed and that is exactly what he goes for I can roost on that and uh, he will not be able to kill me, so I'll be able to get some damage off in this. And the reason I didn't want to go into Rotom immediately was because if he was specially defensive, he could potentially take an Overheat. And uh, I wanted to save that Rotom, even though I'm at low health, just because it's a surefire way to take out the Aerodactyl. 
So uh, that is that. But he ends up just forfeiting. So uh, that's going to be the end of the battle. And that's going to be the end of the video because uh, we did what the video was meant to do and then some. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to me babble about random things. Um, hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, I'll try to put it either in the description or uh, I'll write a comment myself um, or whatever it may be. But I want to thank you all for watching and for all of your support on everything. As always, you guys are amazing. Um, and with that being said, I will see you all for the next video. But until then, game on.